Hey everybody, this is Brett and we are here on Monday for the Monday Lot Walk. This is actually Monday morning. It's kind of gloomy and rainy and not very warm. Um, so we're going to grab our coffee. Got the McCafe today. And we're going to check out all the new vehicles that we got in. I booked these all in yesterday just so I could do this video today because people have been asking for the video and I've been really busy so it's been hard to get them all done. Uh, also one thing to note, uh, all the trucks that you see up there are now in front of the road again so people now know we have trucks again so uh, it's really boosted traffic the past couple days so that's exciting. Anyways, grab your coffee, let's get right to it. We got a lot to get to, a lot of trucks just came in as well so we're going to check all those out, a lot of trade-ins, cool stuff so let's go. Okay, first up I have a 2000 and I think it's a 17 or 18 Ram 2500 uh, crew cab short box Laramie. This is the 6.4 Hemi. It's got the heated and cooled seats, really nice and clean inside, 20 inch wheels. The only thing I saw was a couple little dings on the box and tailgate, which we'll have to get fixed, which aren't a big deal. And uh, really a nice truck. And this one has 83,000 miles, so that'll be also affordable. Now this one, this was a trade-in from Saturday. Uh, the person who traded this one in bought our TRX, uh, our 2022 TRX with like 4,000 miles. That thing was perfect. And this trade is perfect. This is a 2020 Ram 1500 Limited. Uh, the interesting thing about this one is it does not have the e-torque. It's just the standard 5.7 Hemi, which I thought was kind of neat. And uh, it has the panel roof, nav, everything, 22 inch wheels, uh, midnight, or no, I'm sorry, black, or night edition, I should say it. This is a 2019 Chevy 2500 uh, Duramax crew cab. This is an LT1 Z71. This is a midnight edition. And this one has 27,000 miles on it. And I'm always amazed because these always, every single one of these midnight editions comes in with dents, comes in with scratches, and we always have to do a ton of recon to this particular style truck. I'm not really sure, but we'll make it nice and it will be a very good looking truck when we're all done with it. Uh, up front here, we have a 2018 Ram 2500 Bighorn. Or I'm sorry, it's an SLT. And this one has 74,000 miles on it. It's kind of cool. It's got the 20 inch uh, night edition wheels. This is not a night edition. Somebody put those on, but this is an SLT. Cummins diesel and this one has 74,000 miles like I said and a really nice clean condition and that's going to be a nice truck for someone. Uh, this is a 2018 Ford F-250. Bright silver is the color on that guy and uh, this is a 2018 Ford F-250 Crew Cab Lariat Ultimate. It's the Lariat Ultimate. It's got the nav and the panel roof and it's got the LED headlamps, LED fog lamps, LED running lights. Uh, it's got the nice 18 inch wheels that I like. Power boards, uh, heated cooled seats. It's really loaded up. This was a trade-in and this one has 23,000 miles. Really nice condition, has a tonneau cover on it. Uh, not gonna have to do too much to that truck. Came in really clean. And this is a 2000 and to do this is a 2020 ram 1500 bighorn and this is a night edition as well this one has 46,000 miles it's got a couple little dings and stuff that we're gonna have to take care of it's gonna need a really good detail inside you get the 20 inch wheels it has bf goodrich tires on it um, nice tonneau cover it's actually a really nice ride and it'll clean up really good. It looks a little dirty right now, but don't let that fool you. That's going to be a really nice truck. And once again, 46,000 miles on a 2020. This is a 2019 Jeep Renegade. This is Peyton Manning's favorite color, Omaha orange. And this is a Latitude. It's um, got the cold weather group, heated seats, heated steering wheel, remote start. All wheel, or a 4x4 and that is a very nice ride. This is going to be a good budget vehicle for somebody and this one's got 33,000 miles so it'll be 
probably right around that under 20, right around 20 thousand dollars and this is a 2015 ram 1500 bighorn deep cherry pearls the color on this guy and a really nice truck this one has 67,000 miles on it and it's going to be a nice ride got to get that into the shop uh, hopefully today and it's uh doesn't have a lot of options but it's got the hemi four-wheel drive and it's super clean condition nice drop in bed liner and uh, yeah really a nice truck this speaking of nice trucks this is a 2017 GMC Sierra 3500 crew cab long box dually SLT in summit white and this one has 40,000 miles and it is a gas it's the six liter v8 gas engine so if you're looking for a gas dually they're kind of hard to find I don't see too many of these but this is a really nice truck Good tires loaded up nicely it's got nav heated seats and uh, all the good stuff on it this right here is a 2020 or 2021 f350 this is a single rear wheel xlt this one's got nav heated seats um, power stroke diesel engine xlt really a nice truck I didn't see anything majorly wrong with it as far as dents or scratches or anything so that'll be an easy setup this one right here already had people pawing over this one yesterday uh, this is a 2021 ram 1500 and it is a limited it's got the split tailgate and this one has 22,000 miles on it it's got the nav the panel roof up top and it's in really nice condition. Only thing I saw is we got a couple wheels to clean up. Um, that's not a huge deal. We also got a GMC Yukon in, and this is a 2020 GMC Yukon. It's got the 5.3 with the six speed auto. It's got 22 inch wheels, SLT. This is an eight passenger. It's got nav, moon, and it's got the Blu-ray player. So that's really nice for the kids and uh really nice condition didn't see any imperfections on this one uh really clean ride so that'll be an easy setup as well which makes me excited because part of my responsibilities here are getting all these vehicles ready for sale in addition to doing the videos in addition to um, getting all the options off of them i put them into the system and make sure that they get ready for sale this is a 2017 gmc terrain this is a Denali terrain and it's got the V6 in it. It's all wheel drive. And this one has 49,000 miles on it. Really a pretty nice ride. The only thing that I saw that we're gonna have to fix is rear bumper has got some damage to it and the uh, reflector is broke out. Now, in addition to that, it had a sensor, like side detection sensor malfunction. So I'm not sure if that sensor is in that part of that reflector or not so that's for service to figure out and then I have the uh, budget deal of the day this is a 2017 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo and this one has hundred and forty five thousand miles on it and other than that little nick on the uh, front bumper there this thing is super clean and uh, well, it's kind of dirty inside, but it's got BF Goodrich tires. I didn't see any dents or anything on it. Really nice condition for 145,000 miles. That is going to be a great budget vehicle. And lastly here, I have a 2022 Ram 3500 Mega Cab Laramie Level C. This one has the high output Cummins diesel. And I think it's 420 horsepower, 1,070 five foot-pounds of torque if I'm not mistaken has the Ison transmission and just a really good looking truck granite crystals the color and that's everything that we got in over the weekend now I know I didn't do a lot walk last week and I apologize for that but we were just extremely busy so let's go take a look at what we did up front here so we put we had all these Jeep Grand Cherokees, these new ones, lined up because we're a Jeep dealer, but 
Um, it's time to actually sell some stuff. So we got all of our trucks back on the front row here and right under our sign. This is Highway 41 that's right out there. So we got the trucks on 41 and we got three quarter tons and we got all our Chevys and Fords lined up right here. All of our Rams are across the street, but we have actually more Rams than we have Chevys and Fords. So gonna be doing a special video on that one uh, later this week with my buffing guy. We're gonna transform that into a good looking truck again. There's Highway 41 across the frontage row there. Where that semi is going across. Anyways, I uh, got a bunch of other stuff in and there's a Chevy Colorado we took in trade. This is a high country that we bought. I think that one's through the shop already. This is a brand new Ram Rebel Cummins Diesel. Just did a video on that. Go check it out on the channel. Um, it's a Ram 2500, 2022. I think there's only like 1500 miles on that one. Uh, this is probably a wholesale truck. This one is a Ram Dually that we just got in. Uh, that, that one just got through the shop as well, I believe. That one's got the high output Cummins Diesel on it as well. This one we just pictured this morning. This is an F550 with a utility bed on it. Uh, it's got a flatbed and then a bunch of boxes. That's an XL, but uh, think about that one. That one's a 7.3 gas. So another gas dually, which is kind of weird. This here is a Ram 2500. I think it's a 2022. Yeah, this is a 2022. We got a ton of 2022 Ram 2500s in. I think this is another 2022 Ram 2500. Uh, this is a Rebel GT. <clears throat> this was our president's truck. We just took that in. That's got 16,000 miles. We got to figure out a price on that. Anyways, uh, this is another Ram 2500 2022. Just got a ton of those in. Uh, the Yukon, that one's done. Uh, we got a Toyota. I think it's a forerunner. Is this a forerunner? Highlander. My bad. Yeah, that's a Highlander. Good looking color. Um, that thing's going to be a good ride for somebody. This is a brand new 2024 uh, Mega Cab Limited. That is a $103,000 truck there. So kind of crazy. Got another Yukon XL in. And then a Ford F250. Um, crew cab XLT or I'm sorry crew cab lariat and that one's a 19 that's a nice truck I think we just got that one through the shop uh, this is one I just did a video on we uh, polished it up and I did a second video on it. that's a really nice truck just did a video on that one we just got that through our details shop and then this is a 19 or a 2015 I should say a GMC 2500 I would be surprised if this one lasts uh, past this week. Gasser, 99,000 miles. Uh, that'll be going fast. Anyways, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, get out there. Mid-month, we had a strong start to the month. We got a lot of stuff going on. We got a lot of stuff coming in. Got the trucks out on the front there, and uh, everybody's ready to go. So come check us out at summitauto.com or check out the YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash summitauto. And let's get some here on September 11th, 2023. And of course, uh, always a day of remembrance on September 11th. But anyways, uh, everybody get at it. And we got a lot of vehicles to go. So let's get it.